Okay, welcome to this PHP tutorial part zero introduction video. Um, you may have noticed I've got another stupid cold, so hopefully this will be um, clear and you'll be able to understand what I'm saying at least half the time. Well, that'd be about average for these videos anyway. Let's say uh, you know longer. Anyway, what am I saying? Right. Um, basically, what we're going to be making is this Minecraft server multiplayer server status page. Um, this was requested by a viewer, a user, um, I've forgotten the username, but if this is you, here you go. Um, it's very, very simple, I mean I could probably do this in one part, but then that wouldn't be following the method that I like to stick to, and you know, consistency is good. So we're going to do it in two. Um, so in this part I'm just going to show you what it is, which is this. Basically you have an, we have an array of server IP addresses, and port numbers and this script loops over that array and checks each, each one in turn to see if it's online or offline oops online or offline if it's online this box goes green if it's offline it goes red just to make it a bit more, a bit more interesting um, these top two by the way are my local server um, 192.168.110 is just you know it's IP address on my local network and 127.0.0.1 is obviously the local loopback um, IP address so it's basically the same server because well I'm running my web server on the same server as the Minecraft server and it's listening on port this port 25565 um, these bottom two are just an IP address that doesn't have any isn't that isn't a computer on my network and a port doesn't mean anything in that case anyway and this last one is the same server but with the wrong port number now what this won't be doing is checking if there are any available slots. All it will do is, che is check if something is responding on um, this IP address and this port. Whoops, this port. Um, and if it is, it'll go green and tell you it's online. Um, so it won't check if you'll actually be able to log into the server. All it'll do is check that you'll be able to connect to it. Um, the reason for that is because you need a mod, which I've forgotten the name of. I think it's my mine query, something like that and you'd have to combine that with this check that we do here. Um, but if you know the IP address of your server and you know that it is in fact a Minecraft server, which you would because you just would, <laughs> um, then this method is fine. Although like I said it won't tell you if any, if any slots are available on the server. Um, we might do another video on this later on, um, depending on if I remember, <laughs> mainly. Anyway, um, so, what else is there to say? Pretty much nothing really, that's about it. Uh, so join me in part one and I'll show you how we create this and a few little problems that will probably arise. Okay, so thank you for watching and join me in part one.